Alright, welcome. So this is a help video for the chapter one uh, exercise assignment. Okay, so I'm making this specifically for online students, but pretty much anybody that I need to send it to to help them out. My name is Darren Bell. I teach accounting uh, at Treasure Valley Community College in Ontario, Oregon. And um, these are just some help videos for exercises. So this one's specifically for chapter one. And so we've got up here on uh, the screen, uh, really the items that I feel like you may need the most help with, right? So I'm not gonna cover everything in the exercise. I'm just gonna cover the thing that students most often have problems with. And so we're gonna walk you through this real quick. So this is uh, putting together some uh, financial statements. So uh, one of the important things to note about doing the financial statements is uh, this, right? So at the very top of these exercises that you're doing, you have all of this, uh, all of this data up here, right? And so they have it all listed out. And so this information is in order for a reason. So you're gonna use this throughout the entire course, so it's important to know, right? So we're going to have uh, this information is listed according to the chart of account order. And so you're gonna have the assets first on your list. So cash is gonna start us off here, right there. And we're gonna go down to office equipment. Office equipment is the end of the assets. So just, just like according to your accounting equation, assets equals liability plus uh, equity. Uh, this, the accounting, a chart of account is going to be the same order. So assets are listed first, cash right here, down to office equipment. Next is liabilities. We only have one liability here with this simple example in chapter one. And then starting with owner's investments on down through uh, miscellaneous expenses, those are all going to be equity items. Those are going to be equi equity items at the, at the end. Uh, that's typically how they're they're going to be listed for you. So that helps us. That helps us because the first thing we're going to have here to start off with is we're doing an income statement. So the income statement, the main idea to, uh, of the income statement is to take our revenues or all of our income, right? All of, all of our revenues minus all of our expenses. And that's going to equal at the very bottom our net income. So that's the, uh, the income statement. So we know that all of our revenues and our expenses, we list it up here, right? We see the expenses right at the end here. There's four of them, rent, salaries, telephone, and miscellaneous expense. Those are gonna be listed here, right? So we're starting at the bottom and we're gonna go up. And so we see revenue is next. Here we just have one revenue in this one, just consulting revenue, that's gonna go on top. So our revenue, is $17,450. Expenses are all gonna be added up to 14,190. Revenues minus expenses equal net income. So uh, one thing that, uh, kind of an old term that's used by accountants that makes sense for this as we start creating our financial statements is called rolling up the numbers. So we're gonna roll them up. We're gonna start at the bottom of our uh, of our account, right, listing with those expenses and revenues. We're going to plug those into income statement. Then we're going to go up from there. So uh, let's go ahead and go on here real quick to our statement of owner's equity. So that's the next one we're going to do. And um, we're going to plug it in. Statement of owner's equity is a little different, right? The way this one works is we're starting with a starting balance, which is our capital balance from, in this case, December 1, the beginning of the, the very beginning of the month, which is zero because we're starting up our company. And we're gonna figure out what our capital balance is at the end of the month or December 31st. So in order to do that, we gotta figure out what all the differences or the changes to equity, um, what they are during the month. So we start out at zero, we add in our investments by owner. That'll be in addition to, that, that'll, it's gonna increase our capital balance. We're going to also add in our net income, 
which we get from up here in our income statement. So that bottom number, it's gonna come down. We're gonna use it. We're gonna add it in. That gives us a sum here in the middle. And then we're going to subtract withdrawals by owner. So any owner withdrawals, that's gonna be subtracted. This company that we're doing here is a, is a sole proprietorship. That, that's the uh, accounts that we're using here for a sole proprietorship. If we were using like, for example, a uh, corporation, we would be using different account names. Uh, we wouldn't have withdrawals by owner, we would have dividends. Uh, our investments by owner, actually those are gonna be uh, purchases of um, stock, right? So we have stock in a, in a corporation, not um, individual investment by owner. So, so that's gonna be a little different. Uh, but anyways, this one, we've got our ND number there. And then we're going to go on to our next um, accounting, our, our next financial statement. So this is the balance sheet. So this balance sheet is laid out according to, it's just like the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. So the equal sign in there is the balance, right? It's got to equal. One side's got to equal the other side. This is the balance sheet. And so what we're going to do here is uh, let's do this one uh, from the beginning for uh, with our assets. They're going to be listed up here at the very top. We know our assets. They're at the very beginning, right? Like I said, cash uh, all the way down to office equipment. Those are our assets. We're going to grab those as a chunk and put those into our balance sheet as our assets. Our liabilities, like I said, we only have one of them here. We're going to grab that one and put it in the liability section. Our equity is going to be a little different. All the rest, I said, remember, all the rest here at the bottom was equity. We've already dealt with equity, though, as we've put our uh, revenue minus expenses in our income statement. Then we used our income statement or our net income, and then we uh, updated our capital balance. That balance is actually going to be our number, this balance right here, 85240 that is going to be our equity balance in the balance sheet. So we're gonna just pull that one down since it's already updated and good to go and that will help our balance sheet balance at the very end. So hopefully this helps you with chapter one just to polish up these last things in the exercise assignment. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and uh, I will um, get back to you as soon as possible if you need to meet come into my office or we can meet on Zoom and uh, that would be great. Have a good day. Thanks, bye.